Hey everybody, welcome back to V Rising. How you guys doing? How you guys been? And today, I've been farming a little bit. Um, and I think, I don't know if I've discussed this or anything, but I've moved things around, did a couple of things. I think I did discuss this last episode, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah. Um, so let's quickly go to here to the Blood Altar. And I'm thinking we are going to go and try and take on Le Frost Archer. Because reasons. Um, we did go for Stonebreaker, we got the Foreman, and now this one, which will give us a Devourer, Devourer, um, it can tear apart equipment, items, and components, and it'll turn them into raw materials, which I think is pretty, pretty cool, and we'll get some sort of random power. I am going to start tracking, but we're not going to do that today. The sun just rose, and, um, put low on blood and everything. So, yeah. The thing which we are going to do today is the following. In here, I want to get a blood press going. So we need planks and stone. Very, very easy. There's our stone, our uh, planks, and over here is our stone. And let's go ahead and build a blood press over here. I'm just, uh, just going to park it. Here. No issues whatsoever. Interesting. And how do we interact with it? I think I might have. Oops. That's what I wanted it to do. Let's do it like that. Oh, there's the entrance of it. Okay, okay. That. Pick this up. So the wheel must be that side. Okay. Now we can interact with it. So, of all the rats we got, we could turn into blood essence. With tainted hearts, we can also get more blood essence out of this. And with unsullied hearts, we get greater blood essence. And if we get exquisite hearts, we get primal blood essence. And then unknown recipes over here okay which is fine um we want to get some greater blood essences going because i think yeah the next thing is constructing with servant servant coffins uh which is here in dominance it requires one greater blood essence so we need to use that so let us pick a check Let's see if we have any unsolid hearts around here somewhere. In here. Ah, there we go. Six of them. Over there. And this one, maybe? No, that's just got normal essence in. Uh, just want to check in here. There's more. And in here is another one. And we got some tainted ones here as well. Which I'm gonna, you know, might as well just start getting this process going. Hell, you know what we can even do? Is in refinement, we can build another one. Two of them. So the one is... Of this. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nasty. And then over here... Oh, we got them, like, desynchronized. Every time, like, one goes down, the other one goes up. I think the unsullied one will go slower than the, sol uh, the tainted one. Okay. How long is this? It's going to take about a minute or so, which is not too bad. Uh, let's see how long do we have here. Um... Let me go ahead and grab a few over here. Do that. And then we can just put these back in here. Alright. So that is still going. Another thing we can look at is maybe um, a vermin nest. Hey, it's 
Not a bad moon, but a blood moon rising. So let's go ahead and take that. And we need more stones. Let's grab a lot more stone. And now we can make a vermin nest. So what we can do is... We'll take you, move you to here. Take you guys. Just plop you guys over here. Like that. And then a vermin nest. Okay, let's see. So, plant fibers and bone, we get a rat. If we get plant fibers and fish bone, we get a giant rat. Uh, twilight snapper, fish bone, and some grave dust, then we get a putrid rat. Ah, okay. Scales, golden river bass, gets us a spiderling. These are unknown recipes over here. Uh, Highland lotus and a blood snapper. Gives us a mosquito. Very interesting. So I was thinking, let's see what we can... I've got a couple of fish bones. Uh, somewhere. I saw them somewhere. Uh, so we got some plant fibers, which we'll take from there. You know what? I'm just going to put these in here. I will afterwards... Oh yeah, um, I got these two research books, but we already have those thingies so it's not an issue for me let's go ahead and put this in here and then plant fibers this one plant fibers and put this in here All right and it is doing a thing One, will it spawn it here? There it is. And we get animal hides from it. Okay. That is interesting. What I'll do is just take this out. Oops. I'll feed on it. It's only 8%, but we're low on blood. And we get some movement speed out of it. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna just dump these back in here and get some blood essences and things. Okay, that is very, very interesting. Alright, uh, we got one greater blood essence over here. <laughs> just the sounds of these things. Just hilarious. Oh man, look at all the essences we're gaining. Very nice. Okay, we got one greater blood essence. Now, if we go to dominance. So now we just need 8 copper ingots and 16 planks. Which we have over here. Uh, planks over there. And copper ingots. I'll just take the 100. Okay. Now. Here is a servant's coffin. I oh, will just place you over here. And now let's interact with it. Insert a charmed human to start conversion. Alright, let's go ahead and claim. Dominance presence. So let's check our journal. Empiric powers over here. Grants you seductive abilities allowing you to charm enemy targets. You cannot use normal spells while dominating presence. Let's go see. We have some time. Let's go see if we can find somebody. Um, and then maybe get lucky or something. I don't know. There is a camp close by, so it should not be that hard. We're good on health, everything. And yes, I did figure out that symbol. 
means that one of our gears is the one gear piece meant that its durability was very low and we needed to do something about it. I just want to pick up these bones because reasons. Here are no seeds. I am. Okay. There is a camp here. Hopefully there are people. Uh, we'll take the mugger. Uh, let's... Let's do this. Okay, why is it not working? Maybe we're... Okay. There we go. Follow me, my pet. Got a friend. Look at him go. Alright. Let's take him back to base. Show him around. Come on, friend. I'm following you, master. And let's get him in here. Come on, over here. Let's lead him into here. I'm wondering if we can. Maybe, maybe. And welcome to my castle. Uh, we have 14. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, let's grab some out over here. Should have about 100 in there. There we go. All right. There we go. It's not very clear about that, but sure. It's going to take about an hour and hour and a half for him to become something okay so he is a brute he's, he's got tenacious strength reduces difficulty by 100 when hunting in harsh environments um boost the amount of power acquired from equipment okay and increase the amount of loot resources secured from successful hunts in fair by enforced by 20 percent okay that is very cool close that and I think if we quickly take a look at the castle heart, we can have four more servants. So I might just go ahead and do that. Line up a few coffins. You know what would be cool? Like I wanna, I wanna upgrade this castle heart, but I need to somewhere find iron ingots and glass. And the greater blood essence is being produced already, so it's not that big of a deal for me. Uh, but the quartz and greater blood essence if we can upgrade this then we can expand the borders and we can expand towards that way which is to the south and then we can start working on like having a servants quarters and a workshop area and like our own personal area like a research or maybe our, like our own bedroom servants quarters and maybe a research room as well all those kind of things but that is it for me today thanks so much for joining me here on b rising hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys next time bye bye